All right, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Wait, you know, you have to say it. You have to say, "All right, guys, you guys are good." All right, yeah, you guys are good. Strap in! Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Did I scare you too? Did I scare yeah, you? Yeah, a little bit. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is he talking about? It, it's flycast time. Flycast time. We have the, we have the number one requested. requested guest out of anyone in the world. And that's Electronic Matthew. Everybody, round of applause <laughs> for Emac Craig. Hell he has yeah. finally decided to work today. And actually, he was going to say no. He didn't want to do it. But. But. Did we call him out? We, uh, we call him out. All right. I knew this is how it was going to start. Yeah. <laughs> We, Matt, Matt, we we all show up to the Optic Podcast, myself, Bose. On time. On time. Well, I was one of us was on late. time. I'm not going to say who it was, but one of us I knew was. Bose was going to be late. Well, I blame my barber. Because he took forever. That is true. He was late, he was as late. we know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but then I was like, "Yo, like I, everybody's rolling up, and I'm and I'm looking around, and I'm, all the cameras are there, but like their lens caps are still on and stuff." I was like, "Let me just call Matt just to make sure." And it went to voicemail, and I was like, "Uh oh," because I know Matt's a heavy sleeper. He's a heavy sleeper. Yeah. So I was like, he slept in, and Raj was able to set all the cams up, and I was like, "Well." Your punishment is you have to be on the fly cast. And look how look how happy he yeah, is. Yeah, I kinda I'm happy to be here, guys. I'm I, very kinda, happy to be here. I kinda forgot that you said that. Like I was sitting down here like ready. I'm like looking at your videos, like fuck. I'm gonna ask him some questions about it. We can still, you can still ask me questions. Yeah. We'll talk about all that. Well, damn. <laughs> where do we start? Where do we start with, with electronic Matthew? Matthew we got no fuck the topics. I wanna know, Matt. First off, if before Matt, you say a singular word. Mm. How would you, for those who don't know, Matt? Matt is the person who sets all this up. Mm -hmm. How would you describe him to those who don't know? Me? Yeah, they might know. We might have said his name on Matt? the podcast. Like, thanks, Matt. God, he's so annoying. They might have heard it here and there. That's but true. who is Matt Craig? How would you describe him to those if they don't somehow mm. know? He's a very loud, outspoken, arrogant. Um, he's uh, he he he'll put you in your place if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. No, Matt. Uh, Matt does everything. He got. Uh, he originally came on to edit Hector's vlogs, and now he's setting up dual PCs for the beer league. He's uh, he's the he's the person that. If anything has happened in Optic, most likely Matt has either set it up or tore it down or was involved in the planning process. He's a he's a all hands on he's a he's a jack of all trades, is what I would say. I guess what I wanna ask Don't blow too much smoke up his ass. I but can I, see I want it, to, I I can see ask, it getting to his head. I wanna I wanna ask this. His but head then, is expanding. But then I wanna like go back in time to okay. even beforehand. How and why do you get into this? Didn't you start? How did how did you start off? It's a good question. I actually don't know the answer. Like, how did you start off? Because I, if I remember, you hex you knew Roger somehow, and hex found hex hired you for. So, like, I got into esports probably like seven years ago now, something like that. Six years ago, I wanted to go to Call of Duty events, but I didn't want to like pay to go to them. And I didn't want to play because I suck, but I wanted to go because it just like, it looked like fun. So I initially started just cold like DMing people on Twitter, being like, "Yo, I'll come take pictures of you at this event if you can like uh, you know just get me in." And did you add like your own camera and stuff? Yeah, I have my own right. stuff. I was actually at VidCon the week before. Nerd, he's yeah. true nerd, yeah. true yeah. nerd. Yeah, no, I was I was I was <laughs> deep into YouTube. I was deep into YouTube. Um, so I went to VidCon, and then it was like the weekend before Real quick, Anaheim, I think. Did you get any autographs at VidCon? No, I got a picture with Casey Neistat, though, which was... Uh, that's uh, fucking uh, badass. That was I was ready to roast you, but that's prime. badass. That was the only one. Like, I, I got like the... Uh, yeah, it was like like at his like peak. Damn. Um, but I went to VidCon mainly to do like... Like, I got the... There's like the... 
like you can go as like a fan or you can go as like a industry person. Okay. And I bought the industry pass so I could go to like all the panels of like, oh, not shit. like the, it was like way less about like seeing the people and it was more about like being on the panels like go, being able to go to the panels and like listen to like listen people, to people talk about youtube and like how they oh like, so you were there to learn already <laughs> yeah yeah, that was yeah, kind of, the, yeah that's crazy damn yes yeah, so i went for that and then that was the weekend before i think it was anaheim 2016 was the first one i went to so it was that was big kind of was the weekend before and then i went to i stayed like the extra week or extra weekend to go to the cod event in anaheim and I was just deeming people on Twitter. I was like, hey, I'll take pictures of you if you can, like, give me, give like, me 10 there. bucks and I'll, like, do it. And I DM'd yeah. uh, Mike Kent from Deserto. And he was like, yeah, I'll get you a, uh, like, a press badge to get in. So I got into the event for free. I made no money. I definitely lost a bunch of money on that. But So he wasn't going to pay you, though, like, 10 bucks? He no, said, I don't even know ah, if I asked. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'll get you a pass <laughs> if yeah. you take pictures, but that's $10. <laughs> No, I did like, I did the, the Deserto thing for free for like three events. Like I flew myself out to the events and shit. Damn. What the? Yeah, just to get a, I mean, dude, I'm so bad at don't... like asking for money yeah, oh, and shit. Dude, Matt is the, like, I'm Matt is the at it. worst at it. Because I just don't like, growing up, I was going to be a dentist. Like that was the plan. And if like as a dentist, you don't have to ask, ask for, money. for money. Like yeah, you just get paid. Yeah. So like I never, like I didn't know how much it was worth. Yeah. It's a, like I, do I charge like five I'm bucks for a like photo or like a thousand bucks for a photo? I have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm the same. So I, mean, I was I, like, just pay me whatever you're going to pay. I was the same way. I, it took me a while to ask Hector to, <clears throat> when I was doing Optic Intel, and I was also getting paid like, like what, 800 bucks? Uh, no, no, no. Like 600 bucks a month or something like that from Walgreens. And I just couldn't live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, really? So I asked Hector, I was like, hey, like, uh, is there anything that I can do to like make like monetize the the channel or something that I could work towards to get paid. And then he was like, just so you know, one thing I love talking about is money. So if you ever want to talk about money, always ask me. And I was like, damn. And I was like, can I have some? <laughs> 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 and then he was like, that's when, that's when he first started paying me for optic Intel. But it took, it took dude uh, before that Skype call. I was like, <sighs> Oh, dude, I was yeah, asking, bro, like, I was weird. in a, I was in college at the time, um, and I was living in a frat house and I was asking all my buddies like, yo, like how much should I like ask to be like paid for this? And they're like, I have no fucking idea. Like they had no idea either. So I like, remember I was about to call up uh, Mike and be like, Hey, I want to go to this next event, but like, I've got to get paid something like, yeah. Or I, cause like it was costing me a shit that I wanted to fly out yeah. and like food and everything. So like, I gotta get paid something to go to this. Like I want to, I'll go and you don't have to pay me a lot, but I do want to go. Um, and I asked, he was like, yeah, sure. We'll pay you. I was like, why was that so fucking easy? Like, why did I wait so long to ask? I used to do stuff for, um, <clears throat> for like, I think, scuff. maybe, maybe it wasn't scuff. Maybe it was partly scuff and partly like other companies, um, back in the day. And then like, I would just wait to get paid. And I remember asking, um, uh, Zach or ringleader, I would be like, like, you know, I worked, I worked for this company. There was this one wasn't scuff. It was a different one. I forgot who it was. I was like, I worked for this company and I, I sent them all the work and then and they never paid me. And he was like, did you invoice them? I was like, what is, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, what is that? And I, yeah, sure enough. I did like three jobs, like back in the day when I was like trying to get anything, like 300 bucks was just like, holy shit, that'll last me two weeks. Like just get me through life. Um, but I just wasn't invoicing people because I was too scared to invoice them. Yeah, I just had no idea how to do it. I got lucky too because like going to school, everything was like paid for. So like doing the photo stuff like on the weekends and everything was just fun. Like I just wanted to do it. Yeah. So it wasn't like I needed to get paid to like buy food and shit. It was just like, I want to keep doing this. And there was no plan to do it full time at all. It was like, this is fun. I want to keep doing it. And I like doing it. So the pay aspect of it, like... I never thought I was going to need to get paid because I didn't think I was ever going to do it full time. Yeah. I was just yeah. planning on doing it because I liked the people I met and wanted to keep doing it. And then I eventually I would, you know, graduate college and get like a real job. So but, when did it turn yeah. into something more, I guess, like when did it turn into you getting paid for stuff and you're just like, okay, like I, I'm doing this, I'm going to get paid this. Like what was like the steps since uh, I'm guessing that was like right before you joined Optic, were you with anyone before Optic? Were so you... I was I worked for Deserto 
for like probably like a year, maybe two years, something like that. And I went to every COD event, a bunch of Gears events, and a few Halo events. Um, working this for them, when, doing all that. You met Roger. Yeah, I met Roger at my first ever event, like that event uh, the weekend after VidCon. That's where I met Roger. How'd you meet him? Was it like... It's just like the same way that every photographer like meets. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. like you're like at the stage at the same time with a camera. And you're like, yo, what are you shooting on? And then that's like just the opener. I'm just imagining, imagining Roger back then. Just just a fan. Just love. Oh, he was do you, do you know the story that like of like how all videographers thought I was an asshole? Have I ever told uh, you this? I don't think so. So wait, you you can. <laughs> well, everyone is everyone asks the same. Like when you see someone else taking photos, you're like, okay, well, like we're the same. Let's go. I'll go talk to that guy. Yeah. So you go talk to him, and you hit him up. You're like, oh, what are you shooting on? Like you start talking about gear because yeah. that's like what we all like. Uh huh. But we all asked Hitch this question, but. So I was talking with with <laughs> I was talking with Josef. You were the parasite of. I guess <laughs> of camera guys. I was, I, I was talking with Josefo at one point. And he was like, "Yeah, the first time you ever said the first time I ever talked to you, I thought you hated me." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, you were like really like uh, you were a kind of a douchebag." And I was like, and "Imagine Josefo <laughs> saying that." Yeah. I was like, "What?" Yeah. And Matt was there, and he was like. I could he I could see him doing that. And I knew Matt for two years at this point, and I was like, "Why are you nodding your head?" He was like, and then he told me the first time I ever met you, I asked you a question, and you went, ah, "I don't know," and then didn't talk to me. And I was like, <laughs> "What?" And then I asked Roger, and Roger was like, "Yeah, all the videographers talk about how you're an asshole." What? I was like, "What?" I bet you like really overthought that. And, I have like, been thinking out. about that conversation yeah. for four years now. Yeah. I literally thought about that for I was like how I was like and then and now every time I meet someone for the first time I'm like okay good first impression because of these crazy really conversations that, yeah. good first impression but what I attribute it to and I I even asked uh, JP who works here now and he I was like did the first time because he just got hired here like you know a couple months ago so I was like talking to him and I was like I have a question dude no way I was like the first time we met was I like nice to you and he was like you were an asshole i was like uh -huh. what wait really yes like he was being serious he was being he dead just serious like know this story yes he was like you being asshole. he was like but i was also 16 and i was annoying and he i was, was like super fucking wait annoying. when he did was annoying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait when did y'all meet jp like back then as well yeah like a uh, years of it like when i was shooting I vision he, like when he moved here a few months ago or whatever no, no, like no, 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 no. This like, was all, all when I was a videographer. Uh, yeah, because like Hitch was the guy. Like at COD events, everyone was like, like we're all doing, we're all taking photos and shit, but Hitch was like the scump of the videographer people. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we're going to go talk to... <laughs> Dude, you had like eSports awards and all kinds, and you were shooting for Optic, and you are like the only person that was doing it. Oh, so I wanted really? to go like talk to Hitch, and I walk up to him the first time, and he's... And it's funny because like he's shooting and I know what camera he has. I know all the answers to the mm -hmm. questions I'm going to ask him. So I go up and I'm like, yo, what are you shooting on? And he goes, oh, I don't know. And I was like, all right, man, cool. And I just fucking walked away. So I was like, there's nothing like that is the have... opener. Like if he wants to talk, so he this would is answer when that he question. was on optic. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, this is like during vision. Ego, I did you? not have an ego. <laughs> I did not have an ego. Here's like, what I attributed you to. You thought him. you were that guy. There's one videographer and I'm not going to say his name, but he was very open about how he disliked everything I put out. And so I just kind of like put every videographer in that category and I, and it wasn't like, I wasn't like, I was, it wasn't like there's criticism and I'm like, man, fuck that guy for criticizing me. Everything he was saying was like accurate. Like I didn't know how to color grade. I didn't know how to shoot. Yeah. I didn't know how to, I didn't know the gear I was using. He's like, I how's this motherfucker? How's this motherfucker like, getting yeah. four times as many views as our videos get? Like basically. And I was like, I'm just. I'm good at one thing, which is storytelling for, for optic fans. Yeah. That was the one thing I was good at. And I, that, like a, a documentary series was my way of like doing it. And so whenever that guy, like that guy put it into my brain that like, I'm not supposed to be here. And like, it's only a matter of time before Hector figures that out and get someone that is supposed to be here. That was like really what was in my mind. So whenever videographers would come up to talk to me, I would clam up. Because they'd be like, what are you shooting with? And I, w dead ass, wouldn't know. 
<laughs> I dead ass wouldn't know. I didn't know the lens. Uh, I didn't know. Shit. I didn't know the. Uh, the, the I would look up like voice recorder, buy one off of Amazon, put it somewhere, and like that was my audio. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or or a road mic on top. Like mm-hmm. that was it. And they know every. I will listen to that to this day. I will listen to Raj and Matt talk about cameras, and it's like I'm listening to Chinese. How did you get <laughs> into it though? If you weren't like I, that, I, I I first started uploading one clip. Uh. Uh, commentaries. Fun fact: I reacted to your ver- first ever YouTube upload ever. I reacted to it when? on on stream, <laughs> and I uh, like new- I made it a YouTube video. Like I did an intro on stream. I was like, bro, I might start a new series. I'm gonna start reacting to people's first video that's a, ever. That's an amazing idea. And then I did it. And it was like a sniping. Might have been like a three minute montage of oh, me sniping. Yeah, yeah. That, like you'd hit like a double code. And I'm just like. <laughs> I'm like, this is what they were uploading back then. But yeah, yeah that just randomly remind me. That's reminded hilarious. Me. That's a great. And you should definitely do that. Yeah, do that for I, methods today. I should, I should just put yours fucking up. Um, methods first video. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, but that yeah, w- you can't steal that idea. I won't. I won't. I'm gonna do it. TST can though. <laughs> nice. Yeah, re- <laughs> you you react to me <laughs> to reacting. Your re- <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Um, but yeah, that was that was the reason why I that was the reason why I would clam up. But then from everyone else's perspective, they're coming up to ask me a question, and I, in my head, I'm like, Would you get I'm like, are you nervous me right now? Are you trying to me that I don't know? Huh? Are, yeah. Are you nervous about it? Like knowing they know so much more, uh, dog, and you're like, I am extremely nervous. Like I remember one time I got put in a Skype call with like all of the syndrome all of the top. I guess that's what it is. I never thought that was real, but I guess I'm describing it. Oh, that's definitely real. I think I have that. JP said he had that. Actually, I kind of have it too. But I, anyway, I got put in a I got put in a Skype group with all of the videographers. The top. Think of every esports doc that's ever come out. The top videographer is in that Skype group. I got added to it. And it was immediately like, I was like, dude, I'm in, they just threw me to the wolves. Are people, are people talking shit about Hitch behind his back? Yes. See, yeah. I like, Raj has told me shit and yes. Uh, I mean, maybe. maybe Especially when, were, I won the, like, when I won the awards. When the awards, but mm. I understand that. I do understand it. Not the first one. The second one, I understand the second one. Yeah, but that's just fan voted. Like, you can't even talk shit on that though. Like, and crazy. there was there's not a world where I don't accept that award. I remember Raj was like, I can't believe you accepted it. See, it's that like, is a such a what? faded fucking thing to say. <laughs> yeah, or what? What? <laughs> oh Raj yeah, everyone wants you to get this and you shouldn't take it. Like that's insane. But I don't know if I'd accept it if I was you. Yeah, that was that's also like, I was it was two months after I'd gotten fired and I was pissed. I wasn't oh, even a videographer shit, anymore. And I was like, like TST had just started. We were playing Black Ops 4 GBs when I got the notification that I had like won it. Damn, that's and so crazy. I was just like, like I, I am taking this like to, if anything for a thank you to the fans and a fuck you to the everyone the corporate else. people like I was taking that award. A fuck you to the Skype call. <laughs> yeah, but like then I immediately like I would see like sub tweets and shit and I'm just like dude this is like and it's not me I'm not complaining that they're like I'm not twisting it it was just like I was always just nervous because they all I felt like I was hiding a secret that like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and the only people who did know were eventually going to tell everyone and so I just kind of like built a wall between me and videographers And um, that is something no, I bet no one really knows. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I just I mean, thought, videographers are assholes, though, just in general. Are they? Oh, yeah. Everyone's very, like, particular about shit. And I'm not, like, I'm not really good at, like, the whole camera shit. Like, I'm decent, but I'm not that good. So, anytime someone's, like, starts talking to me about stuff, I do the same thing, even now. Like, well, like, we'll be at, like, uh, the esports awards and I'll start talking about, like, new year coming out. And I'm like, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, yeah. what we got works. Yeah. And I'm just like, not that. What makes... What is that important? What do you think is what you do well? Or that, <laughs> that year? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. What do you think Matt does well? He's always... I don't, I don't have... I think Matt is great and I can, we can always count on him except today when he's late. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you you can always count on him. He figures shit out. He gets it done. Well, no, but besides I that, say, I've never been behind like I will the say camera. no one in the world knew the hex quarters better than Matt. So if you walked in and you needed something, you could ask Matt and he would tell you right where it is. More he, yeah. he knew the hex quarters way better than Hex knew the hex quarters. And so like if that was that was probably the and he, and he was always on call. So if Shotzi's streaming from there and Shotzi's PC something malfunctions, Matt could fix it in 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And like that's probably if we're if like if, yeah, he's, if, if he's doing the podcast, something happens over here. You know, somebody could sit down and he can go do, he can build something over here and come back. Yeah. It's not even necessarily cameras. I feel like it's like PCs as well. Dude, yeah, it's like, a lot of like stream PC esque type stuff. Cause that I'm really into all that. So I'm pretty good at that. Your, I like your doing PC it. setup. I wonder if we could get a, you have a, I'm sure you have a picture of it that you could Maybe, put yeah. on the fly cast. Yeah. But your PC setup's a little ridiculous, isn't it? Like you have three PCs, three yeah. monitors. Yeah, you I mean, just three PCs. Yeah, so like the way that my like setup <laughs> like he works. Loves this shit. I mean, I just like it's just so fun to like mess with. But I have it set up so it's like it's one wireless headset, one wireless keyboard, three computers, including my Mac, and it all like just works like how? perfectly together. How does? And in my opinion, it's the greatest how, setup that's ever been fucking made. But how how does a wireless mouse is it better than Doctor Lupo setup? Uh, for what I use it for. Get fucked. Like Luper. one mouse you is going that? between three PCs. So the only thing, so like, so I've done that in the past where it's one mouse, but it's just a pain in the ass. It's easier to have three mice uh, and then one keyboard that does all. I'm the, like, if I want to like just like open something, I just grab a different mouse. But instead of like hitting the button, people yeah. always ask why why I don't get the little switcher because mm-hmm. I have two mice, two keyboards. Yeah. Which is like it's so much easier if I the like if I want to mess. It's super easy to just do one though. Oh, is it? Yeah, because the button's on the keyboard, so I just click a button and it swaps back and forth instantly. But the mice, the mice opinion. What it just swaps computers. Yeah, computers, like yeah. you hit a button and this the keyboard now knows it's working with this other PC. Yep. Were you always just a f- a fan of? All right, so actually let's get get into this. When did you start meeting? I guess optic people. When did you be start? getting good friends with Ro- cuz Roger sort of got you into I guess working with Hex. Yeah, it was like Roger and Chris Marsh, which is one of the guys that runs Deserto. Um I was at a Gears event in Mexico City. And the one we, wait, the one we won? 2018? No, it would have been later than I think. Oh. Actually, it may have been 2018. I can't remember if you guys won it or not. But I was at that event and Chris Marsh was like, "Hey, Hex is looking for a uh, editor." And I was like, tell him I want that job. Like, I'll do that for free. Just tell him all yeah. the, I, that I want it. Um, so I know he reached out to Hex. And then I think Hex also asked Raj and some people at the optic offices, um, like, if there's anyone that they, like, recommended. And Roger recommended me. Were you and Roger, like, really good friends at that point? Um, we were, like, decent friends. Like, that was at the time he... We kind of became good friends because we went to the events. And I like to drink. So I was always, like, the one that was always down to go out at these events. Um, and the Deserto guys like to drink. So it was like, we were always like yeah, hanging out, yeah, having yeah, fun do. at these events. So we, like, I would meet a bunch of people at Sounds the like events. like a fun but... group, to be honest. Oh, it was the, good the, times. The Deserto? The Deserto. Dude, they're insane. Matt, Raj, I, and I love drinks. those guys. Yeah, it was, it was very good times. But so, yeah, that's how I got into it. So Hex. Hex was basically wanting a someone to edit his vlogs so yeah the way it was like positioned when i first got the job was he wanted someone to like kind of follow him around and like he would vlog but also i would like film him vlogging Mm -hmm. so he could like talk to the camera um and then i would edit everything did he does he not like doing that anymore having someone like follow him around or i don't know because i i'm learning like i don't know if i like that because i i've been having my uh my guy come over like once a week we'll record shit and i'm just like there's like funny shit in my head that i want to do or like place the camera or say some like just random shit but it's like i want to do it instantly but with him it's one i have to do it in front of him and it's weird and two i have to be like yo record this and it's just like like literally one clip i fuck he was like literally sitting over here i was standing by the windows and like i just had it in my head like i'm a like make my ass clap and that <laughs> I'm, I'm, film this I'm a, film this real quick. <laughs> yeah literally i'm like i'm like and it's just like bro, like i just my 
because it's just totally random. Like we're out there like recording my way in or something. Yeah, yeah. We walk in here to the streaming setup and just boom real quick, make it clap. And then it just, it'll just cut, it'll cut right there. And then it's like onto something serious. Like it just what makes no hell? sense, but it's like, that's the kind of style that that's, that's just what pops in my head is creativity. And it's just like, I, I don't know. saved you. I by fa- the way. Did you see that? Mm-mm. Raj walks in and he has the, Where's Matt face? You can t- Raj has a where's Matt face. You, you can see it, right? Yeah. Oh, he yeah, walked in and just did it and then looked at the couch and went and walked away. So I saved you from something. I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I stopped uh, I stopped enjoying that. Did All right, so you join and you're just at that this point or are you just full-time hex? Uh yeah, when I first started it was just just full-time hex shit, yeah. And then but you're also doing like going to events and stuff and yeah, like taking uh, pictures. When you went to events, wait, were you taking pictures or taking videos? For Hex or for Deserto? Just like your main shit. Deserto, uh, Deserto, I would do a bunch of photos. Like the strat was take a picture of every single player at the event. That way they could have someone for like the articles that they wrote. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Um, and then I would also take a bunch of pictures on the side to try to make money at these events. Um, and then once I got the job with Hex, I went to the events and I was kind of like... Like I would film stuff for his vlog. I would edit the vlogs at like uh, like same day, upload the next day, uh-huh. um, at the events, and then Is I would also annoying? like uh, because like you have to go all day at the event. You're recording. Yeah, like that's always like the weird thing, like being like an editor and also like having to shoot stuff. Is that like say we shoot for like eight hours one day? At the end of that eight hour, like at the end of the eight hours, you're done shooting. You're like, okay, day's done, but it's not. You have another like three hours of editing to do That's afterwards. So like, you annoying. get home and you have to just keep going, it and is, you basically wake up and do the whole thing. Especially again. if he, because I feel like if you're there for all the recording, you have in your head how the video is going to go. You can almost skip around the video. You already know that's not going to be used, so you're deleting that. And it's just yep. a lot quicker. But when he sends you off. Uh, camera footage from him just like going off doing his own thing was that like how annoying is that to 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 edit like getting a bunch of footage and having to watch the whole thing through or it's like is is it that bad because i would think like my kind of own depends. my own vlogs i already know i know what's gonna get cut i can kind of just skip through and i'm cutting shit but like to not to just have someone's entire vlog like sent to you and then you have to edit that i feel like that would be so fucking annoying it's kind of fun to be honest um it wasn't like annoying it was just and it kind of would depend like some days i would only get like 15 minutes of footage that i didn't make into like an eight minute video and then some days i'd get sent like you know an hour of footage that i had yeah. to cut way down so if it's like a, a lot more footage it takes longer to like kind of trim down but it really was never that bad were you editing before hex like yeah editing, editing video videos i mean, like i started editing videos in high school because i used to make youtube videos doing what Let's, oh react Just, to those yeah react to those holy if you can find them um <laughs> i did like so i have a in oklahoma where i'm from we have like a lake house so i would record like this is when Casey Nice I was blown up, and I was like, I want to be fucking. You Casey straight Nice-Nice, up obviously. copied him, like, no, oh, yeah, literally just ripped the whole thing. Like, as best I, as best my ability. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, and no, I was fucked up. Disgusting. So, yeah, I would, I would like make videos of us like just Out being on goons on the it lake, yeah, just doing just you and your, me and my like all IRL the friends, like, friends, yeah, yeah, just people I grew up with, the in real life friends. Yep, and Matt's then I also did like a tech channel. Yeah, Matt's know. got a whole like life outside of this shit yeah i feel like <laughs> it's i it's crazy i got i don't yeah me neither i fucking i got it's, brought up into this and it's like this is all i fucking know or have yeah but it's it's all right so when you go home and you see all your frat your frat friends are they like you still doing that game and shit <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're all like they all think it's the coolest shit ever <laughs> yeah because like we grew up at this like the right time where like optic was huge so like one of the guys that was in the fraternity house with us that I lived with, um, his like gamer tag was Optic Zwerve. No, Damn. yeah. So now I like work for like I work for Optic and now I'm in Optic. So it was just like it was crazy that that happened. And every time I see That's him, he's wild. always he always asks. But everyone asks a bunch of questions about it every time I see him. But I have a, hold on. Keep keep going. I just realized I had a meeting at two that I definitely fucking. That we missed, that we made you miss. Whiffed on. Just oh. Say you're working, man. This is way more important. This is way more important. How boring or how useless are meetings? 
Don't answer that. Dude, the first, the, the, fir, the, fir, for the first time in my life, something <laughs> happened like two months ago. So like, you know, like when you're, when you're somewhere and, and they'll be like, or they'll see the optic chain or they'll see like an optic shirt or they, maybe they recognize who you are and they're like optic. And you're like, yeah. So I had my chain on and this is in the, um, the Vegas airport. I was waiting for Alexis to land. And this guy goes, are you, is that an optic chain? Are you with optic? I was like, yeah, yeah I, I work for optic. Expecting him to be like, oh yeah, like I'm a fan or like my friend's a fan or something like that. Or I know of it. But he was like, oh, you know, I, you know maniac? I, I used to work for them. And I was like, I've never heard that before. If I hear that, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was yeah. like, what? I was like, what? He was like, yeah, I used to be a video editor for, for them in Modern Warfare 2. And I was like, what? Yeah. And his name was, yeah, his name was Optic 2 Bar. I literally looked it up. Really? Optic 2 Bar. And he was a, an official editor for Optic back in like the, the Team Taj days, like the, the sniping, like 2011. And I was like, that has Damn, never happened. And he crazy. just ran. He was, I was like, what do you do now? And he was like, oh, I work in the film industry. Like, oh, shit. Like, so he like edits real things now. <laughs> you <know? laughs> do, you, do you have big aspirations of what you want to do? What's <laughs> why is this funny? What, what? I, I just know all these answers and they're really? very funny to hear you what, ask them. What do you want to do? What's, <laughs> what's your dream? What do you plan on? What's the dream? Do Making it, movies? Have a, have a fake answer first. Like a, like a real, like a fake answer. Like a fake answer? Yeah. Um, I, be, I mean, I literally, I don't know. I literally have no idea. Um, now the real answer. What's the real answer? Real? Dude, I don't know. I don't really want to answer this question. If I make <laughs> Why? <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> he wants to be a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, I mean, my girlfriend. Really? <laughs> well, in a way. I just want to, like, do something myself. Like, I don't want to have a boss. Like, I want to be able to just, like, Wake up and do whatever creative shit you want at your house when you want. Yeah, and like not even necessarily like the creative shit. Yeah, it'd be fun to like have a create. Like I'll always have like some sort of creative outlet, whatever it will end up being. But mainly, I just don't want to have to like eventually be cool to show have, up to an office. Have it, I mean, yeah, it'd eventually be cool to like be your own boss. Essentially, yeah. would be dope. I agree, but like, what would you do like with your time? What's the dream day? You he wake up, you take a dirt, you dirt, you ride a, you ride a dirt invaders. bike to space the coffee What's it shop. Called? Uh, Star Citizen. Star Citizen. He would play Star Citizen. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Um, what is that a game? Yeah, it's a game. It's like a space sim game. We don't want to go down that Super rabbit hole. I mean, I honestly don't know. Like, there's like, I try not to think about it that often. If I'm being completely honest with you, but I don't really know. Like, I want to do this for as long as it's fun. Um. But I also kind of want to like be a dentist. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. It's just such a funny. Yeah. Like I, I, I want to go back to school at some point. I just don't know when that would end up being. Um, Why do you want to be a dentist? If you're, if you just make cash, if you're like, super, but are you like into it? Yeah. I've always been like shit? really into school. So I mean like you're into teeth and shit. I'm into like medicine, like same. Helping people like <laughs> no, like, he didn't say drugs. Same. He said medicine. <laughs> yeah, no, I've always been like really. I've, I've always been good at school, and I've always enjoyed school. Um, what grades you get? I got straight A's up until college, and then Fuck. started doing this shit, and it fucked up the grades pretty badly. I still, I think I, I think I dropped out with like a three six, so I didn't drop. Like I, I still had good grades. Three but, six, yeah. bro. I'm on, maybe mid on my, twos. On my anatomy final, I got a 42. I'm, I'm about that. Is there that. a curve? <laughs> that was the curve. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was the bottom of the curve, probably. Actually, probably not. Bro, if I passed, that was a celebration. I mean, I ended up passing, often, the, I ended up passing the class. Not. I don't know how I passed the class getting that. I got like a D plus or something. But anyway. You you play any sports growing up, or you were like a motocross? Yeah, well, I played soccer for like ten years. I played then like when I was like really younger. I played uh, like football and for like two years, but I hated it. You better than Hitch at soccer? No, he played in high school. He played like yeah. when soccer became like real. I played until I was like thirteen and then quit. Yeah, and then I raced uh, motocross for like eight years. I think something like that. It started when I was like 13, 12 or thirteen. 
So are you doing the Isle of Man TT next year? I probably would. Why? I'd no, probably do it. Not. That'd be so fucking fun, yeah. See, I'd probably do that's why people, I can, that's I what can they're kind made of for. like see that. That's what people are that's that's what people are made for. In there's man. just like no other like there's no like the adrenaline rush that you get from being on I mean a street bike I'm sure is wild, but I did like all dirt, dirt stuff. Bike, yeah. But it's just like like when you get off the track, you're like at the end of the day when you like load your shit up and you're going home, like there's no better feeling in the world than after you just had a full day of like literally jumping dirt bikes with all you're your friends. You're just like content. Shit. You're at peace. Oh yeah, it's like this is it's a just the best I'm day. Yeah. And then now your days are just fucking annoying. And then it. you're just you're waiting to get back to it. Something like that. I don't even know if I would want to go back to it because I'm too old now. I feel like I'd hurt myself. Damn. Nah, man. That's just what the it's what society tells you. <laughs> I was scared I fucking was going to hurt myself and my shit. Shit's scary at first. Dude, so I think it was because I was looking at like Mantiti stuff um, last or like a couple weeks ago that like extreme challenges like kept popping up on my YouTube. I have to explain to you guys this. Have you ever heard of something called the Barkley Marathons? Sounds familiar. Yeah, I was watching the video that you like tweeted out. Dude fucking insane yeah it's nuts so there's a whole you know what ultra ultra marathons are like anything over anything over basically 30 miles <sighs> ultra marathons 50, so like some people do 50 some people do 100 mile runs there's this one time a year there's this race called the barkley marathons and it's and it's like it's like hunger games level satanic insane like competition so this guy you go up to the mountains there's one loop of a of a circle and five different books are scattered on this circle and you have to go in there and if your number is seven you have to go in there and rip out page seven get all of the books and then come back around and give it to the race guy and then that's one loop down you have to do that five times in a loop so it's like a, a, a loop. like you go upside down no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> Jesus, fuck me. No, I'm, a circle. I'm, I'm a little off. A circle. A, tra- okay. a, tra- a track. Like a trail. A like trail. this. A, trail, yeah. a mountain trail. Like this. No, a mountain trail. Like you're going up okay. a mountain and down a mountain. Okay. So that's kind of But you're like, I'm like, I get that. I get doing, that. You got to grab. So, sorry, I'll. Is that better? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> now I'm. <laughs> you're going upside down. <laughs> um, so you go. Around the circle, around the trail, <laughs> around, around the trail, and you collect your five pages, bring it back to the guy. He says, "Okay, that's a loop done," and you have to do it within a certain amount of time. So the trail is 20, 23 miles long, and in order to finish it, you have to do it five times within sixty hours. So it's an ultra marathon slash scavenger hunt, and it's and. A thousand people apply every year and only 50 get registered or only 50 like get accepted and only 15 people ever. It's been going since like 1989. Only 15 people ever have completed it. And they do it every year. And they do it every year. Holy shit. Damn. Last year, last year, only one guy completed it. And two years ago, no one completed it. It is, dude, it's. You please watch, please watch a documentary on it. Dude, you have to be psychotic to do that. I need, dude. I need it, uh, one of the documentaries that I that I watched that was like it's probably the best YouTube doc I've ever watched. It's about this guy who like he he was like obsessed with it. He was like, all, all I want to do is finish this, and he goes back for two years, and they document all both years, and he fails it both times. Damn, it's fu- but did it, I just ruin it for you? No, I mean I, I I'm like thirty seconds in. So oh. <laughs> you were like thirty minutes. In. <laughs> no. Oh. So yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro, dude. And, and so then I started getting into like ultra marathons and stuff, dude, once you get pa- the faces of these people, they love it. But the faces after 70 it's miles, they're fucking they're dude, they're zombies. They're, they're like, dude, it's crazy with the, the human, the human mind. Like that dude. is, I just wonder if their life feels so mundane. Until that, they're like, running. they need that, dude. The the I think I I I get inspired by a lot of people. I'm just that kind of person. But like, there's this one ultra runner that has been 
it's been so, like mad inspirational. Like over the past like two weeks, it's like the whole reason I started running like a lot, like four miles a day is because of like this ultra running community. But per- specifically this one lady, her name is Courtney. And dude, the, she Walter? Like the number one. Yes, girl? dude. She's fucking incredible. It's, Does she wear long, like long yeah, shorts yeah, yeah. to her knees? Long shorts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know. I had no idea about this whole. I watch a lot of random videos. The whole like ultra running thing. But she was literally like a teacher. And then she was like, I like running. And then she ra- <laughs> she would teach for the week and then go run an ultra marathon, win it, and then go back to teaching. I had- when uh, she would go teach, win in a hundred mile race. She's done, t- I think, two. 250 miles before. Yeah, yeah. The well, yeah. that was after she it's went full time, I think. But like, stupid. I was just like, dude, how how can you be the best at something and you just happen to be a teacher? You know what I mean? Like, there, how many people are out there? Yeah. What would I be the best at? Yeah. What, what if I'm just I'm the badminton player that never played. Same, bro, <laughs> I'm the Michael I? Jordan of badminton and I just never played it. Fuck. Would you want to be the Michael Jordan of badminton though? Fuck yeah. I don't know. To be the Michael Jordan of anything, anything. <laughs> would be yeah. fucking amazing. I have to piss really bad. All right, I gotta go get pee, this man. In. Go pee. Do you have to hit... Are you gonna get in trouble for not being in the... Oh, movie? I'm in trouble. Yeah, if, if he made the face that you said he made, I'm in trouble. For oh, sure. shit. Well, maybe we just schedule Roger to be on the fly cast during an important meeting. Then, like, what is he gonna choose? A meeting? That's true. Or optic? What's more important? Raj, I like that strat right there. <laughs> I've been going with that strat for three months. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not doing me any favors. Um. Okay. So, Deserto into editing for Hector. At what point do you go from editing? For Hector to being the centralized person that everyone goes to for all of content. <laughs> we, wait, 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 wait. First of all, sorry, sorry. Question before that. Um, infinite happens. Yep. And you're relatively fresh face. Oh yeah, I moved here when y'all moved here. I dropped out of school to move dream here. job. <laughs> Moved to Texas. You dropped out. Wait, you dropped out of your dream job or this was your dream job? No, I dropped out of college and then moved here for this being the dream job. Being the dream job. Yeah. You moved here during Infinite. Yep. Right as it started. Right as it started. So you got to see. And the I was sh- roommates with Roger the whole time too. See, Is I don't fun? even know if I like. Maybe, maybe like when we first moved here, you were still like you hadn't been here yet. When did we meet? Like. When I wasn't an asshole. You weren't an asshole. <laughs> when um, I was a regular person. It would have had to just been like at the hex quarters at some point. Huh. Because you were streaming out of the hex quarters. Damn. Wait. Well, no, that can't be right. Because I streamed out of my apartment for like a year Went during Infinite. Oh, shit. No, you're right. Yeah. There was no hex quarters. There was no hex quarters. The hex quarters wasn't. So you got to see the whole shit show of Infinite seemingly behind the scenes. Like, I don't even know if people knew. Maybe people knew, but the eavesdrop hadn't started. No, eavesdrop hadn't started. And I think, and I didn't know anything that was going on from Hex. I just heard everything from Roger. Uh, that was roommates with Roger. Oh, shit. So you did know everything. Yeah. Because yeah. Roger. You know, Roger was fucking. Roger, I mean, when Roger and I start talking about it, it's like, okay. Yeah. It's like war stories. When you all start talking. Dude, about it. it's like PTSD. Yeah. <clears throat> They weren't that bad. It sounded terrible. Yes, they were. I was chilling. I was just editing vlogs. And shit, right. So, yeah. when did it become more than? All right, so you. Yeah, that was. I, I guess I, you, I, I just asked him. Was that when? When did he go from editing vlogs to it being? Because it, it wasn't Optic E Matt Craig when he's just editing Hex's you know, stuff. You, he, you got to think of the whole energy thing, the Huntsman, like. Yeah, it was Did whenever we just, started Huntsman, I think. I guess what um what more work? So basically you get into the optic space, editing Hex's vlogs. What more work kept getting like put onto your plate and sort of made you become like a fucking employee of the place? Um so it started with the vlogs and then I I'm my like memory is horrible, so the timing of this may be completely off. But there was the vlogs first. 
and then it was like running all of hexes like trying to run like the socials like get him clips for that so i was doing that <laughs> and then we did the eavesdrop so i was doing that uploading to his second channel clips for the eavesdrop um, are you talking about the award-winning esports the award-winning e, yeah, yeah the eavesdrop podcast eavesdrop. yeah correct correct, correct. Oh, do you have one because i have two he has one so i didn't know if you i got an award okay uh, oh yeah so you're also a national champion yeah, so we don't, we don't. yeah. remember it's, that picture <laughs> Yeah, so doing that, and then I think, I mean, there was like, I can't remember if we started, no, this was still on Optic. When I started getting into like the computer, like stream shit, we basically, Hex wanted to throw a LAN at the Hex quarters, and he was like, you think we can do that? And I was like, yeah, no problem, Like we'll figure that out. And then basically I built a like, I think it was a 20, no, 40 person LAN out of the Hex quarters. So that's how I kind of like got into I just should know how to do all this shit because yeah. it just made me like more valuable, I guess, yeah. by like learning all that shit. Hey, all right, this fucking task came up. And, that was yeah. the and that's Ops, a tough task. That was Black Ops 4? Yeah, yeah, it was on PS4, so yeah. That was the Black Ops 4. I don't even know if you were, were you there? Uh, yeah. I remember yeah, you were popping there. up. You were there because I remember seeing we lived Enable. In that, we lived in Enable that was there, right? I remember like yeah, talking yeah, yeah, to him yeah. a little bit. I'm sure he was. We were in that house with like the yellow walls and shit. Uh, it was that time yeah. yeah so you built that whole thing yeah yeah so i built all the, the whole land thing and that's when i was like all right i should just learn how to do all like the tech shit tech shit because it seems like it'd be really useful if i knew how to do all this shit so i figured that out and then i started helping with everyone's like streams and stuff mm -hmm. and then eventually who's the most annoying that always needs help blast Put all of y'all <laughs> at any time but I enjoy doing it. It's not annoying because I like doing it. Is like, it formal? Just say it. No, nah, formal is always very chill about it. Formal, like, I Scump. set his shit up like Come three to my years house ago. Immediately. It's definitely Seth. He's not going to say it, but it's Seth. Seth is not, I mean, it's like one of those things that's not annoying because I like doing it. Like, whenever people are like, oh, like, I feel bad making you do it, I'm like, dog, I would have done this regardless. Like, I just like building it. But, yeah, I mean, going to Seth's house is kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. Like, you know, it's fun. It's a nice so, house. Yeah, he's got, he's got a sick crib to go walk through. <laughs> so doing that. And then I think whenever the Huntsman started is when it was me and Josefo running all of the content. Like Josefo did the the Hunt was like our doc series for that. And then... Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So he I was doing that. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. So he was doing that. And then me and him were like just coming up with all the content. So shit you guys at that time, you and Josefo were running optic content yep. huntsman yeah yeah it was huntsman Damn. content at the time yeah how yeah, much content was coming because that that's was that's when raj came back that was like what 2020 that's like why 20, raj came back yeah what was that like 2019 2020 2019 2019 yeah because i wasn't i don't yeah i was with the mutineers you were with at mutineers. that time so i didn't see any of that no because like the the inner well optic died you go to the mutineers raj goes to hunter thieves you know, we all yeah. disperse and then like he gets energy. We, some of us slowly start coming back in and then, um, and what then now, now and we have to run. And at this point I, I remember Hector asking me and I was like, I, I literally started TST. So like I have to, I can't come back and do like behind the camera stuff. I mean, I can help and stuff, but I, I can't be the person doing like a vision, like yeah. a docu series or anything. So then like now we have to basically redo what we did at Optic, but with Huntsman and it's all on Matt. <laughs> See, I didn't really know that. I didn't know that it was all literally just on you and Josefo. To yep, make yeah, it was, it was How much like, and content was there? Was there like podcast? The yeah, it was podcast. Was and it then stressful? Like, get, hell yeah, it was stressful. Dude, I, so I didn't know what the fuck I, I was doing. I cannot imagine the amount of pressure you got basically overnight. Like seemingly overnight. How yeah, was it wild. brought to you that it's like, hey, you need to like, you're going to be the guy because you go from like, you're kind of the guy that builds everything, whatever hex needs, you'll edit it fucking, but you like keep the hex quarters running yep. prof proficiently. I like I don't, don't remember how that combo went to be completely honest. I don't remember if it was like a, hey, do you want to run this? Or if it was like a, hey, we need someone to run this. And I was like, well, I'll just do it. Cause like, why not? I just wanted to like work more. Like I wanted to just, I basically like what's weird about like this job is that I don't have a backup plan. Like I can't, like I didn't graduate, so I can't go get a job somewhere else. 
And if I'm going to not have this job, I'll just go back to school. Because there's no way I'm going to go work for someone else. Like the whole reason I took this job is because it was like the like quote unquote dream job for me. So there's nowhere to go. If I don't work here, I'm not working anywhere. I'm just going to go try to be a dentist or do something Under else. It's thieves, like, though. there's nothing to do with this. I'm not going to go work at like a different esports org or probably ever like work with cameras again, to be honest. I would go do something completely Oh, different. you'd love this camera shit. Yeah, it's fun, but it's like... The dream job. It's, it's fun because I get to do it here. It wouldn't be fun if I had to go like make wedding videos. I feel like the, I wouldn't do dude, that. Dude, I feel the same exact way. Yeah, like there's no way I would do this. Like I do it for fun. Like I would still like take... Like, I, I would own cameras and stuff, but it would not be my full-time job. I would definitely do something completely different. Hmm. The making the content part was always the most fun part. It's yeah. not the shot. It's not the video, the videographer part of it. It was the con like the, the fact that you'd make something, you put it out there and people would like it Yeah. or people would, you know, people would like it on behalf of optic or people would like it on behalf of whoever is in the Does video. Does it feel good to come up with a content idea and like the content creators come in and like you see them enjoying it and you're like, that's going to be a good video. Yeah, is that like it? That's a really good. That's feeling. like the biggest high you could possibly <laughs> yeah. have. Yep. Like when I throw a tournament, what if and it's a wacky tournament, and I'm like, dude, I just really hope the players like, like I'm making them use these guns or these weird. They're playing on these weird maps. I'm just like, I hope the players don't freak out. And then when they start having fun with it, it's the best feel, dude. It's the best feeling ever. Oh, if you get like buy in for a video. It's so much better because like we will come up with an idea and we're like, this is kind of goofy. They might hate this, but if they get in and they like actually give it a chance, it'll be fun. Like we know it'll be fun if they try, but sometimes people will come in and just insta like chalk the whole thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is dumb. Sometimes they'll chalk it for other people. Like that does do happen. Yeah. Oh, that happens more so than not. More so, more often than not, if we someone talk will a video, set the precedent of someone, like this is gonna, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, it's usually someone's fault, and that someone is has a name, and I could say it. <laughs> I'm thinking of one person. I wonder if it's the same person. It probably is the same person, but wait, should we say it and cut it? <laughs> no. Let's no, we should it. not say no, it. No, <laughs> wait, not why? It. No. It's not that big of a deal. It's that big of a deal. No, it's fine. Not. Hex chalks a lot of videos. I didn't say that. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's when that, That's that not what isn't I said. what no I was going to say. It. Hex is like... It's fine. Hex, Hex chalks it more than anyone else does. I feel like Am what, I wrong? what I'm a part of... you talking of, to me? Yeah. I feel like what I'm a part of... I'm everything I've been a part I'm of... Th- I have heard him like shit on some ideas. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Throw a paper at Raj. It's like <laughs> maybe sem- semi semi troll, but it's like he might think it's a fucking stupid idea. But Hex will usually, I think, play the part of like, well, Hex let's is- make this fun. And like he pulls out his fucking. Oh, for uh, sure. He, he almost side. always like buys into it. I was, yeah, I was, think, sure I was buy talking into more like like a formal or a pose to where they're like, this is fucking stupid. Well, that's usually, they, they don't even like part, they don't even try to make yeah. it seem fun. Well, that's usually if we're doing like some sort of like something that we probably shouldn't put them in anyway. Cause like for formal and bows, like, you know where they like shine. Or if it's like, which is usually in like a talking, like a uh, like if they can bounce off like if of someone's someone else. Funny, if someone's getting funny, like pied in the face, if right. we gotta fucking like go formal, play basketball, formal or, is not gonna fucking play a paintball match, and yeah. whoever loses get pied in the face, like yeah. or gets hit, sits with. Paintballs. That's when we hit up TST. Yeah, that's yeah. when like we'll do it. It's gonna be us versus Sabas, <laughs> <laughs> and like, like you know what I mean? they'll be done. Yeah, so. That makes sense. But like sometimes we'll do something and Hex will come in and I'll be just like, we're not doing this shit. I was like, dude. But like what I, I think, and that was a joke. I know Hex is watching this shit and he's already <laughs> typing. Stop typing. I'm joking. Kind of. <laughs> no, just, I've, I've seen him do it. Yeah, but he also plays. He also plays. Like if you watch the paintball video of us we're all in those masks or whatever the yeah. blindfold like he was going harder than anyone yeah. so like oh, yeah. he he I performs am more, he turns it on i'm yeah. less yeah i am less less stressed even though it's not like i'm stressed like i hope this video performs well i just like don't like being a part of like some of the videos sometimes they'll just be people will be down you can tell they're not into it yeah. and like i don't like being a part of that environment i would want people to be like 
more uppity and like hex always sort of turns that on yeah when it was given to you to come up with the content ideas and stuff was that stressful like bringing ideas would you see people come in and it's like hey this is what we're doing and they're like Phew. yeah and then, that's <laughs> always what, like what can, what kind of feeling does yeah. that give you i mean it just it was always stressful to try to come up with something that i thought would be because like there's a difference between it being fun for them and also gets views on youtube yeah like there's a bunch of shit we do that's fun, but no one is going to watch it because no one really... There's a bunch of shit that will get views, Yeah, but the, no one's going to want to do you, it. And a lot of times the shit that will get views, you really got to have like so much buy-in from talent for it to be a good video for it to get views. And a lot of times we just don't have like the uh, the preparation with talent to be like, this is what we're trying to do. If you if we all like buy-in, and, of- you know, we all try really hard, this will be a good video. We, we, aren't, we are not that type of like... People, people, it's a lot of egos and they're like, I ain't doing that. Like, it's never like a, bro, if we all just really acted like we, like if, if our, our main fucking goal is for all of us to act into this video, we make it fucking work. Like this would, this could be a banger, but like, we do not have that at all. Yeah, it's not necessarily different. at all. It's not bad. Like no, it works. I mean, we, we have our, we people have their shit. own personalities. We're working on a video right now. That's going to be incredible. That's I think. insane. It's going to be really, really good. The one that you're doing, that you're going to be a part of? What is that? Never. Probably really. haven't even been told about it. Oh, well. <laughs> I f- see, I feel like I'm down for a lot of shit, but knowing other people aren't, it's like, dude, I'm not going to go fucking be put in a it's just i think it's i'm not so... going to be put in the dunk tank while everyone else just gets to hang out and no one else will do it. I'm not I'm yeah. not going to go get paintballed on my fucking bare ass while there's just, so they can. There's just a lot. Uh, unfortunately, what we've we've said this over and over. Our biggest people are our esports players. So we can't do like if you look at what the sidemen do, they do amazing videos. But some of these videos are like half of the four, three of them are going to stay in a hotel that cost a dollar a night. Four of them are going to stay in a hotel that costs a million dollars a night. And then they're going to compare it. And it's like that video takes weeks of preparation. You have to, and, and then the actual video is taking like three or four days of shooting. We can't do that with people that have, we can't have rentals and formal and, and, you know, knocked in a video because they all have to scrim different games. Yeah. It's just different games, different times, random tournament here, random tournament there. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's maybe just, fucking one day it'll get to a point where everyone retires and they stay on. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping there. for. Cause this esports shit is for the, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This esports shit is over, man. Like, like what, just, what's even the prize to, they would even 250,000 yeah, for like, worlds. That's or not even fucking anything. Like a mill to win. That's nothing. If we bang out like eight good vids, that's a mill. Yeah. If you get views. Oh yeah. And which is like, you know, nine thousand dollars to split between like 15 people i think we're fucking winning there yeah that's the strat for sure yeah, yeah, that's the strat for <laughs> sure i like that <laughs> uh all right so after all right are, are you stressed doing all these videos you you have to come up with the ideas now it's 2019 2020 optic is being held by its fucking toes with you and josefo it was extremely the- stressful for sure it was fun, but it was very much like it was stressful because I like it was not what I had planned on doing, so I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So it was kind of just coming up with it as we go. But luckily, we had like you and and I mean, we had trivia, so like we trivia is just the go to. Why if don't there's we any do time we don't know what we're gonna do? We do trivia because we try not to like overdo trivia, but like I Which think that's fucking fugage, but, dumb. Yeah. Just but, do trivia. The people like it. Yeah. If there's been a Jeopardy episode. Yeah, every week for every the last 30 week years. For 30 right? years. So like it makes sense. But Mi- yeah. my, what is it? Minecraft mythical mornings? Mary mythical M- Min- Mythical Morning? I mythical, know mythical Morning. Is it called Good, Good Mythical, mythical morning. morning? Good Mythical Morning, yeah. They yeah. haven't missed an episode in 13 years. Holy shit. Really? Something yeah. like that. I heard yeah. it on Colin and Samir. They haven't missed an episode in that long. And it's like Like per day? It's like is it is it daily or weekly? I don't know. I don't think it's daily. There's no way it's daily. Yeah, I feel like uh-huh. there's no way it's daily. Their like their production is like 
cra- yeah. it'd be insane. Like, had, they're, and, and, and they asked him about it and he was like, yeah, just, we figured it was a show and it was like the basis of everything. So we're not going to miss an episode. I was like, see, we just do, way to do trivia. It. I'm down for game. trivia. I like trivia. And, and I think trivia is the, trivia is the best backbone besides the docuseries like process or whatever. Cause process is for sure the backbone. Maybe podcast actually. Podcast is, is definitely one of those. It's like I feel like there, if we yeah. didn't have podcasts, it'd be like dead. Well, I mean, the process processes are always incredible. Like they always do like three hundred k. Yeah, you just can't upload one of those a week though. Yeah. Well, just no anymore. <laughs> Any, yeah, anymore. Right, right, right. <laughs> Times have changed. My wife is working on them. Uh, I can't remember. Either. Yeah, but um, no, it was very stressful. Like coming up with all the. All the content ideas. And How long did you do that for? I have no idea, to be honest. Like the timing of it, I don't remember. It was all like very much and blur. It, but did people just like start slowly coming back, like Roger. Fucking yeah. Well, basically, we were making stuff, and Roger was like, "That's all ass," and I was like, "All right, cool, man. You gonna come back and fix it?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "All right, bet." And then he moved back. I'm trying to. That's think. pretty much how that went. Yeah. Sounds about right. In like 2020, when I show, had to show up a few times for vids, I'm trying to think. I remember Josefo being there. I remember being like, yo, we got to go do a trivia. I think it was like me, you, Scump, that trivia. Do you, do you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I and I think Josefo takes us back. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like, I just appear for the first time in like fucking a year or two or something just, you were expecting it to and be I'm scuff doing, house you yeah. just couldn't meet it i don't like i don't know what the fuck is going on i forget who was it so josefa was there i don't know if matt was was running shit i mean i don't remember much i was probably there i'm sure i was there. bro i remember i showed up and i literally left show or i think we did the trivia i did another video i think we like reacted to like top clips or something and like Bose was sitting right beside me. I was like talking to him a little bit. And then the next day or the day after someone texted me ah, something about Bose. And I was like, I didn't even see or Bose wasn't even there. And I, like I completely, I was blacked out that day. I think I, it was, I had like a bunch Dude. of Xanax and a bu- and some alcohol. Do you remember no, me s- I was after on like no day? sleep. I was like all, damn near having a panic attack. Oh yeah, I do. After you left. I was I pacing do. around the hex quarters. Bro, it's so I can't I can't go back and like watch that vid. I can't either. Because the only it's time like, I've ever seen it is how, in that little flash in the how process. How did people? I'm surprised that went public. I or, I looked at all the comments are like, yo, Nick is on something. Really? Like a lot of people. Because you were also in like a react video that day. And I think I was funny. In you the were react. funny in the react video, but you were on a fucking, you were on Mars yeah. in the But I trivia. just remember, and I remember just like telling someone like, I didn't see Bose or no, I don't think Bose was there or something. And then I look at the video and I did a fucking 15 minute video with Bose. Yeah. And we we're like talking and shit. I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, that was bad. And then I remember that might've been the last time I showed up then. Yeah, and then I didn't see you for six months. And then disappeared a little bit, did my thing, came back. And I guess it was Roger and them, 2021, January 2021. Yeah. It was like, I think Optic Content was like, sort of back. And then, yeah, Paige had just moved here. Paige just moved here, Formal moved here. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So that was, yeah, that was that time. Then we sort of got back on track. When did you go? F- when did you go from coordinating everything, or like you were the guy coming up with ideas? Are you still doing that? Like coming up with ideas? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have like the, is it like everyone well, sort of will think of something and just yeah, like, pretty much. The meeting I missed forty minutes ago was literally the video optic video ideas meeting and our like content team uh, sync. But it's like we kind oh, of we we have a chat where we all you, talk that's about what that. You missed? Yeah, you're not in trouble. Yeah, well. That, I mean, Rod gets angry at shit. But basically, we uh, like we will all come up with ideas, and we have a Slack chat that we'll just like throw ideas in. So, like big ideas, a lot of times comes from you. I feel like, but just like everyday content shit, we kind of all just throw stuff in there and see what we can see what we can come up with. Because it's hard to come up with an idea and also like make it fit like the timing of everything. Because if we have like a video that would be really good with like the COD team, we can't. Like we don't have that much time with the god team, so we can't like you know film a bunch of shit back to back to back. But yeah. 
shit's so hard, bro. Yeah, like the it's so coordinating of all of it is very it is it, it weird. It is so much. It's it's very it's awesome to have like a team to all make videos and you can do so many different things with all these different people. And that's why the podcast is so refreshing because there's different people on every time we talk about different things. But to make a video that is like, holy shit, that could take off. It it takes so much effort and everyone has to be on board and everyone has to have the time. It's so fucking hard to do that. Yeah, to like purposely make a video that you think would be like a viral video, I feel like it takes so much prep and so much like, understanding and buying from all the creators to come and do it we just don't have content days that are that long i feel like yeah where we're making stuff that we know will do well well what, what if we want to make a video that we think would go viral like that's going to take you know a week of maybe like five creators time that we all need to and we just don't have that like there's watch parties every weekend there's cod matches there's just a bunch of other shit that we have to do so and if we wanted to do something and also like a lot of the stuff that we that we make has to get views. Like they're either deliverables or they're working towards a deliverable or they're working towards something. So it can't be a we're going to try this because if it doesn't do well that you know if reflects Are views a part of deliverables? Like it needs to get 100,000 views or something? Is that allowed to be said? No, like they no. Like they I feel like that like can't be. be uh, but it yeah. then it being sponsored or whatever right. it's like we want them to look at our the vid we did together and be like this is brought to you by mountain dew and it corduroys. has some good views and corduroys, and corduroys. which brings us to ficast the most amazing podcast in the south we're in the south right yeah no we're in the south okay, right. <laughs> um it's us and then joe rogan <laughs> I, I feel like I haven't himself. heard shit. I'm uh, random. I think I'm going to quit Twitter. I was going to say something you. about Joe Rogan, but saying something about Joe Rogan may, reminded me of Jordan Peterson. Do you see the tweet I I, I posted of Jordan P Peterson doing a some kind of speech where he was crying? Yes. About Olivia Dude, Wilde. The amount, yeah. Yeah. The amount of people that responded to that and were just like You put that on Twitter? Yeah. You're a fucking brave one dude i don't understand it i dude you want to hear some great i literally so i, I thought saw that it. was an important i thought that was a good message for all i men saw it i saw it on to your watch <sighs> this is crazy i saw it on your instagram and so <laughs> this is a bad episode for matt to be on <laughs> wait why uh just because we usually don't talk about like stuff that could be controversial uh um, I literally go, <laughs> I literally YouTube searched like, why don't people like Jordan Peterson after that? Cause I didn't want to, I didn't want to be hypocritical the way I like, cause I am, everyone is, but like, I was like, I was like, I feel like he's so like, I, I've heard a bunch of things that he said that I think is really important towards men. So I, that's what I've always thought was great. I mean, even women as well. Like, and so I was like. But I also didn't want. To, but I, I hear the same thing about Andrew Tate. Like he's like good about good towards. But men. I wouldn't put them on the same. Right. Apparently they are on the same but fucking that's, spectrum. That's why I was like, okay, I gotta actually like because I know why people don't like Andrew Tate. I don't really know why people don't like Jordan Peterson. Yeah. It's all political. It's all like his political shit. It's shit that I got into Jordan Peterson without knowing any sort of political fucking whatever his views of this that. All I would, all I'd see is his like speeches on anxiety, depression, right? Men who can't get out of bed, how to fix your life, make right. your bed, clean your room, and have your house straight. It's a lot different straight. than like this. The little fucking steps that get you out from feeling like such a fucking loser. That's how I got it. That's all I knew him from. Right. And so like I'll see. Eventually, I'm. I, I think I posted something like Jordan Peterson saved my life or something. I think I like read his book. But I was just like a big into Jordan Peterson. And then Hutch responded oh. about, <laughs> and then Hutch responded about Jordan Peterson, how he's just I th like, I don't know what the fuck he said, but just like, he's a piece of shit or something. I don't know. He didn't say that, but it was just, that's that was, sort of the response. That was the message. And then I was just like, I 
huh like wait what do you mean and then it's like yeah it's political the canada government <laughs> agenda with the republican side of the blue pill is and i'm just like dude this is i don't fucking know what the fuck's going on with that side but it's like point being <laughs> It's like besides all of that other shit. Yeah, besides, but besides all, whole, yeah. besides that entire fucking thing, the message that I got from him and how I got into him, and I didn't even know there was this whole other side of he says this stuff that people don't like. The video I posted, it was like basically the same thing of like how many men they're out there that just feel like complete losers. Like they don't have women a voice. consider them incels. They don't have a voice and like. He's like how he's on their side and he can be he'll be the face for them if so need be. Dude, I have in the amount of response. I I'm seeing that message like damn near making me cry. I'm like, man, there's so many men out there that have such shit lives, man. Like I really pray that like they get they get their shit together. Like Jordan Peterson gives them hope. And like I just saw it as such like a positive message. And I, the amount of people responding to that with negative shit saying, this ain't it. What do you mean this ain't <laughs> fucking it? <laughs> everything yeah, he just said. Quit Twitter for sure. Everything he just said in this video is it. It is like, it is trying to help people who are miserable, depressed, feel like fucking losers go, that go, women don't like. And he's trying to ch- help them change their lives. That's I everything. Go to, I go to like, try to find his tweet. And this is what I see. <laughs> <laughs> It's a yeah, picture of I'm me alive. from 10 years ago. But I just don't. And someone said, Jordan Peterson, someone Love. someone was responded and said, Jordan Peterson tried to lower the age of consent and Pierce Morgan tried, or is just a piece of, is a lying piece of shit who likes to hear himself talk or something like that. And I'm, and I'm just like, what? I don't, what does that have to, anything to do with the fucking video I just posted? Yeah. Like, how are you hearing that video and just like, damn, somebody t- somebody tagged Hex. Jeez. Poor representation for Optic at Hex. Like, what? <laughs> I just, Good I God. post, I posted, <laughs> I posted a video about a man spe- saying he will be the face of the men who women consider incels who are, who are losers. Jesus, bro, you got wrecked. I haven't, I haven't even looked at it. Don't. But it's just like. I don't I I don't get it. I truly don't get it. Well, people are just mad. But like what I posted, people are saying like this ain't people would respond and say like this ain't it. And those are the tweet the other stuff it's like okay, you hate Jordan Peterson, so you hate the fact that I said anything or maybe Bro, made it seem like Jordan Peterson's good. There see there's a I think there's a difference, but, man. Like, but so, but someone responded this is like crazy. I was like, someone responded with something. I was like, can you like keep it in the context of which the video I posted, like what he talks about in the video and how I think this is a good message. Like they're talking about, then he starts arguing with some other dude in the comments, calling him like your red pill. And See, like, I think it's, like, I think, dude, the, I think the issue is short form content. I think that's the biggest issue, but I just don't get your, how people, how, feed, how people can see that video because your feed in uh, not, just think that was a good message and move on okay but you got okay i think it, i literally think it's all short form content is the biggest issue imagine there's um I'm, i don't know i imagine there's a, a a woman who is a biologist and she is really powerful towards women and so women that are you know big into science or whatever on their feed, they get her talking about science, about how you can make it in this industry. You, know, you got to be a woman. Blah, 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 blah. But she also has another side where she absolutely hates redheads. They don't ever see her hating redheads, but on your feed, because you're a redhead, all you see is her talking shit about redheads. So now two people have complete opposite opinions of the same person, but they're getting, di- they're getting fed different things i understand that so there's a whole difference there's a whole side of jordan peterson maybe he's something phobic or something this or whatever right. or maybe he said a few things that have been interpreted different ways to different people and that's on the other side of something that you're not involved in but it's still the same person completely so uh, completely disattached to right i just so i don't you even say know you of like, that but if you say you like someone i don't i didn't even say i liked it i just posted the vid Ooh, that's checkmate you win 
<laughs> but, but I'm saying like, if you post them, obviously and it's a, and I, it's a, I post it because I support what the vids say. Right, right. And it's a positive message in your lane. That doesn't mean that, that there are people out there that don't get fed that or they can't, they can't compute that. They don't know, like, you know, like it's not like maybe men's mental illness is nowhere in their life. Like yeah. they don't, it's not that they don't care about it, but they just don't register it. They are care. They care about these things and he is against these things. So they hate him. Yeah. And I think it's just like, but it's I very just, hard I to get that, but keep that for when people are talking about that. You can't, you can't say that. But it's that, just though. not, it's just not. If you dislike someone that much, it doesn't matter what, what positive they, yeah. thing they say. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like after that, I was like, I think I'm like, I don't think I've signed back in. You should, since. You, I, I was like, it's it kind of just not like a, oh, I'm getting mad at their responses. I want to argue with people them. Have, it's, it's almost like dude, a disappointment. Like, dude, I like the what? amount of like, time guys, that people put in to hate, to hate or oh, to dislike insane. will always trump you being like, oh, that was a good message. I'm going to, I'm going to share it. If this is a good message and I'm going to share it. The person who reads all of Jordan Peterson's books and re- watches all of his lectures in order to pick out the bad parts or watch all of his political commentary because they hate his political commentary, they're going to know way more about that shit than you being like, you know, he's helping men's mental illness. Like this came up on my feed. I'm going to share it. They're, yeah. they're going to hate it well, so I've, much I've, more. I've learned to just like, if I like it, I'm going to post it and then I'm going to just go this way. That's that's a good way to do it. I'm not going to not going to see the responses. <laughs> not going to you guys can I don't want to argue on Twitter with reply. my day. I'm going to reply to your tweet. I don't want to argue on Twitter with my day. I think it's a it's a positive message. So people should take it as that. It doesn't matter what the fuck I post to be honest. Like I posted I posted a video of me saying like you know, I'm, I'm like all pumped up. I just and, put, I just replied to it and said, whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all pumped up in the gym and I posted like, go work out twice a day. Discipline yourself for 60 days. Fucking people like, I, I forget what the fuck I said, but it was like a video of me working out and shit. And then just like people are responding, shitting on that. Like, yeah, they have work. They can't do that. I look the same as I did two months ago. I'm wasting my time. It doesn't it matter doesn't stop, what yeah. it, it doesn't, doesn't matter what the fuck. Just stream. If, yeah, if there's if, nothing you can do about it. If that. I say I'm happy, if I say I'm happy and I'm trying to encourage people to this is how I did it, fucking do this. Let's get let's get our lives together. Fuck yeah to the moon. It's like fuck <laughs> it's like fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> if I say I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm a loser, you're a fucking lazy pussy. Yeah. Like you're irresponsible. You're you're a loser. Mm-hmm. Like it does. Everything's just. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking nothing matters. Nothing, nothing matters. matters truly. <clears throat> so how political are you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you, I just sat here the whole time, just like oh, okay. You're right, just like yeah, I'm no. trying. You know who Jordan to... Peterson is right. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Do you pay attention to any of that? You an Andrew Tate fan? Don't uh, answer that. Can't say I'm an Andrew Tate fan. Um, <laughs> putting Matt in the I know who seat. he is. I know who I know Jordan who Peterson he... is. Yeah, I know the guy. I feel like Matt doesn't. I've listened to some things. Probably do- I've listened to some things. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you don't really care. Or maybe you do. Maybe you have a secret side of you that is all like politically and shit. Nope. You don't care about like presidents and nope. voting and... There's too much other shit going on, man. That's what. And everyone I know that is so into politics is so mad all the fucking time. Yeah. They're never like, happy. Like, I try so hard to, like... Be happy? Yeah, every day is a good day. I'm bro. not into I'm that shit I'm just out here. I'm, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm still mad and depressed. And it's like, I can't afford that. Yeah, you can't yeah, afford any more like, of it. Yeah. don't need anything I need else. To, I gotta figure something else out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so like indulged into myself. It's like, dude, we gotta figure something out. I can't be worried like the, about what fucking. We sound what? like such a standard white guy shouldn't have podcasts right now. Have you ever seen those clips? It does. It doesn't. We if we were amazing at talking about that shit, then we'd get hate for that too. That's so we're not true. good at talking about it. We're gonna get hate. For it. it doesn't that's matter. That's so man. true. Matt's changing the camera. Damn, you got off the couch to change the camera. How much time we is anything else we can? What would the people want to know about Matt? 
know about Matt? How about let's do rapid questions? Favorite Matt has Matt has the best story ever, but he can't tell it on the pod. And it's dog. I can imagine it's the that. best story. And I asked him one time if he would tell it, and he said no. Is there something fans would want to know? Of what <sighs> is it like working? <laughs> one day, for, one day we'll tell. <laughs> what's it like working for one Optic? Day. If this, if this video, if this shit. episode gets four likes, Matt will tell the story. Jesus, that's. <laughs> I want to know this story. Matt's just dislike. Yeah. <laughs> he takes the video down. This pod never went up. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> Corrupted file. Yeah. The file. What's your favorite food? What the hell? Filet. A filet. What's the best podcast in the world? Damn. Because Matt's right a, now. Matt's a podcast listener. Right now, the one I listen to a lot is the yard. For like. And They're then also, funny. I don't know who that Andrew is. Schultz podcast. What's the He's not even that fucking good. Yeah, they're average. What's your favorite video <laughs> to <right>. edit? <laughs> What's your favorite video to edit? It's a good question. Favorite video to ed- like that I've ever edited or like one or that I've ever like- edited. Yeah. We did one that was a like shooting video with the COD team. We went out and like shot the snipers and stuff. That video was really fun to edit. It was really hard, but it got taken down. But that was really fun to edit. And then normally <laughs> it got taken down. Yeah, it got taken Damn. down. We weren't allowed to upload that. But by uh by YouTube or the spo- or a sponsor? I think it was like CDL rules and shit. We're not allowed. Oh, to, they're not allowed to use real guns. Yeah. But it did really, and it was sucked too because it did really well. And then they were like, hey, you can't upload that. We need to take it down. But Those that was really fun to edit. Hard. And then the vlogs are always kind of fun, depending on what we're doing. But I, I like the pod, like the Flycast. I like editing because I don't listen to it. That's good. So I can so listen your, to so the it's pod your fa- it's while technically I your edit favorite it. podcast. Yeah, no, yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, let's go. Let's go. Finally, let's go. finally, somebody. CJ edits listen. this now, though. So yeah, I don't edits anymore. <laughs> Dude, I've been like antsy this whole time because i just uploaded for the first time in forever yes and i've been fucking video i've been fucking antsy. fuck what was i gonna ask you about that what do what, you want to go check the numbers on it yeah i'm just like constantly like, i haven't the numbers were the- good when i checked like yeah. it's gonna do better than your pokemon vid <laughs> it's already probably done better than that fucking video what was mm. i have another meeting in two minutes boys all right you Sorry. can, you wanna, can you've you've paid your dues okay for I, oversleeping i want to ask everybody Kish. That was E. Matt Craig. Matt Craig. Electronic this was Matthew. last notice. Yeah. Well, Page, thank, you so thank y'all for having me on. Yeah, I appreciate man. it. Page next week. We could get Paige next week. Yeah, this was Let's a fucking roast her ass. This was a last last minute. See, usually I come here prepared about with Peterson. notes and shit. I look into his background, his family. <laughs> Page sits down. So, do you like Ben Shapiro? Page, what are your thoughts? On she Jordan has Peterson. no fucking thoughts. <laughs> she would be like, "Who? What? What are you guys saying?" Fuck. What? Are, what? Are... So Hitch just put out, and then we'll wrap this up. Hitch put out. I don't want to butcher the title of it. I ran a marathon with no training. It has almost three k likes with seven point five k views. Really? Yeah, this video is gonna do well. Oh, that makes me so fucking happy. Um, my comment got one like one hour ago. I'll go like it. So, yeah, it's a two out of ten. A two out of ten. If you're new here or live under a rock, Hitch ran. Hitch walked. Well, he ran. It's in the title. I ran. He ran by the title. Twenty. How how long was it? Uh, 30 miles. 30 miles. If you could do it again, what would you do different? What mistakes were made on this fucking trip down the side of the highways? If I could do Through something. alleys, no sidewalks. I said, watch the vid. The vid was pretty good. The vid was good. And I gave it a thumbs up. Yeah. I enjoyed it. These are the videos we need. Yes. It's the videos I want to start. Oh, Big T commented. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, people... See, I'm just so, like, overwhelmingly happy because I I think... I think after Vision stopped, 
like that feeling of uploading something that I put my all into kind of like it was like when you stream, you just get on your stream, you get a stream highlight video, you know, your editor works on it. You see what your editor does. And then you're like, cool. <clears throat> but like when true, and I started working on these like TST videos, these big TST videos, I'd put my all into them and then like, you know, work on the thumbnail and the, 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 you know, the, the actual like steps to, to achieving a good video was like, like what I really love to do. And like the whole process of that and checking the, you know, checking the analytics afterwards and, you know, trying to tweak things. I love that shit. And I never did that for my personal vlogs or my personal channel ever. So like this video was the first time I've really done that. So I'm like super happy, like super anxious to like, is, is there anything I would change? I don't know if there, I don't, I don't know if there's anything I would change. More gels. <laughs> you didn't really keep track of like what you were eating in the vid. Yeah. See, I, I put it in the, I put it in the script and I said, I said at one point I like, I ate both my peanut butter and I ate both of my peanut butter sandwiches, but like, you don't want to, I think it's like a perf. it's like 18 minutes. You don't want to make it like a 25 minute video because 18 is already pushing it. Yeah. Um, what else did you eat? You ate, you had like the running gels, the peanut butters, peanut, peanut butter, butter and jellies, sand, peanut butter sandwiches. And then I had, um, like three, like bars, like three protein. I feel bars. like that would not be enough. I would be starving. Dude. What? Or maybe you'd be so exhausted. You're like, I don't even what the ultra before. runners eat is crazy. Like that's it's, cr they like eat like, like mashed potatoes and they like slurp it down and then they'll have like seven they'll eat, like, candy and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like ever since I've done that, like it gave me so much purpose for one day that now I'm like, I, I want to do mm -hmm. something like that again. And like working on the video has been so much fun. It's something that I never like vlogging was so awesome. Um, but it was so like you do it, you, you record yourself for the video and then you put it out and that's it. Like you don't dedicate multiple days to the process of the video making. I've never done that for my personal stuff. And so like doing that and then putting it out and then, you know, people, people have been receiving it really, really well. So well, we'll I'm go. Happy. I'll go let you check out your analytics. Go watch the video, guys. If you, well, this will be out in a couple of days, I'm sure. Yeah. Go check out the vid if you haven't. I ran a marathon with no training. The thumbnail is amazing. I got a step, bro. I looked at your that thumbnail, and then I went back to my vids. <laughs> like my, it's not only are the this amount of not only is this amount of views the lowest I think I've ever gotten on a video. The thumbnail is bad. It's like dark. Can't even hardly see, but see that's my face. Better. That is honestly better. If, if a video does bad and you can figure out why it did bad is so much better than making an amazing video like, and not knowing yeah. why. I'm like, the, the video is average as fuck. <laughs> I'm not expecting. I, I was even before I uploaded, I was like, this ain't going to do too well. <laughs> But then, like, I think the, the thumbnail is bad. The pictures I told them I chose, it's just dark. Yeah. Fucking no one really knows who Mike O'Hearn is. That's going to be from the COD space. Yeah. Even the one before, like, hot yoga. It's like you barely see me. The, just the lighting's never that good. Then you have one with scump in the thumbnail. And it's just fucking, of course, that does well. Yeah. And then even my other two were, were just, like, pretty good thumbnails did well. I'm just, but, I'm, uh, I was, I was very, very nervous to stop vlogging and try something new on my channel. And it's only been an hour. Nah, it's fucking killing but it. But as of now, I think it's doing pretty, pretty well. So yeah, it's doing really well. I'm really happy about that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, album. Do you have one? Also, did you listen to the Skrillex one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was actually, I had the Skrillex one like just being played. That's so good. Uh, the Skrillex one was good. What was that called? Uh, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Yeah, that was pretty good. I must say, we're gonna keep it in this sort of same genre oh, because shit. this is what I've been listening to. Actual Life 3 by Fred again. Dog, if that's the album I think it is, probably I have been playing that album nonstop. 
I've been listening to Actual Life. Actual Life is the red one. one. I haven't listened to that yet, dude. The the I'll the third song the here. third song on that is amazing. Okay, so go listen to Actual Life Three by Fred again. E Mac Craig. There we go. Play that outro music and shouts out to Corduroys. Peace.